Austin, Texas, Wikipedia article audio. Austin is the capital of the U.S. state of Texas and the seat of Travis County, with portions extending into Hayes and Williamson counties. It is the 11th most populous city in the United States and the 4th most populous city in Texas. It is the fastest growing large city in the United States, the second most populous state capital after Phoenix, Arizona, and the southernmost state capital in the contiguous 48 states. As of the Census Bureau's July 1, 2016 estimate, Austin had a population of 947,890, up from 790,491 at the 2010 census. Located in central Texas within the greater Texas Hill Country, the city is home to numerous lakes, rivers, and waterways, including Lady Bird Lake, Barton Springs, McKinney Falls, the Colorado River, Lake Travis, and Lake Walter E. Long. It is the cultural and economic center of the Austin Round Rock Metropolitan Statistical Area, which had an estimated population of 2,056,405 as of July 1, 2016. In the 1830s, pioneers began to settle the area in central Austin along the Colorado River. In 1839, the site was chosen to replace Houston as the capital of the Republic of Texas and was incorporated under the name Waterloo. Shortly afterward, the name was changed to Austin in honor of Stephen F. Austin, the father of Texas and the Republic's first Secretary of State. The city grew throughout the 19th century and became a center for government and education with the construction of the Texas State Capitol and the University of Texas at Austin. After a lull in growth from the Great Depression, Austin resumed its development into a major city, and by the 1980s it emerged as a center for technology and business. A number of Fortune 500 companies have headquarters or regional offices in Austin, including Amazon.com, Apple Inc., Cisco, eBay, General Motors, Google, IBM, Intel, Oracle Corporation, PayPal, Texas Instruments, 3M, and Whole Foods Market. Dell's Worldwide Headquarters is located in nearby Round Rock, a suburb of Austin. History Geography Residents of Austin are known as Austinites. They include a diverse mix of government employees, college students, musicians, high-tech workers, and blue-collar workers. The city's official slogan promotes Austin as the live music capital of the world, a reference to the city's many musicians and live music venues, as well as the long-running PBS TV concert series Austin City Limits. The city also adopted Silicon Hills as a nickname in the 1990s due to a rapid influx of technology and development companies. In recent years, some Austinites have adopted the unofficial slogan Keep Austin Weird, which refers to the desire to protect small, unique, and local businesses from being overrun by large corporations. In the late 19th century, Austin was known as the City of the Violet Crown, because of the colorful glow of light across the hills just after sunset. Even today, Many Austin businesses use the term Violet Crown in their name. Austin is known as a clean air city for its stringent no-smoking ordinances that apply to all public places and buildings, including restaurants and bars. U.S. News & World Report named Austin the number one place to live in the U.S. for 2017. In 2016, Forbes ranked Austin number one on its Cities of the Future list, then in 2017 placed Austin number one on its list for the next biggest boomtown in the U.S. 
Also in 2017, Forbes awarded the South River City neighborhood of Austin its number two ranking for best cities and neighborhoods for millennials. Wallet Hub named Austin the number six best place in the country to live for 2017. The FBI ranked Austin as the number two safest major city in the U.S. for 2012. Austin, Travis County, and Williamson County have been the site of human habitation since at least 9200 BC. The area's earliest known inhabitants lived during the late Pleistocene and are linked to the Clovis culture around 9200 BC, based on evidence found throughout the area and documented at the much-studied Galt site, midway between Georgetown and Fort Hood. When settlers arrived from Europe, the Tonkawa tribe inhabited the area. The Comanches and Lipan Apaches were also known to travel through the area. Spanish colonists, including the Espinosa Olivares Aguirre expedition, traveled through the area for centuries, though few permanent settlements were created for some time. In 1730, three missions from East Texas were combined and re established as one mission on the south side of the Colorado River in what is now Zilker Park, in Austin. The mission was in this area for only about seven months, and then was moved to San Antonio de Bejar and split into three missions. Early in the 19th century, Spanish forts were established in what are now Bastrop and San Marcos. Following Mexico's independence, new settlements were established in central Texas but growth in the region was stagnant because of conflicts with the regional Native Americans. Cityscape In 1835-1836, Texans fought and won independence from Mexico. Texas thus became an independent country with its own president, Congress, and monetary system. After Vice President Mirabeau B. Lamar visited the area during a buffalo hunting expedition between 1837 and 1838, he proposed that the Republic's capital, then in Houston, be relocated to the area situated on the north bank of the Colorado River. In 1839, the Texas Congress formed a commission to seek a site for a new capital to be named for Stephen F. Austin. Mirabeau B. Lamar, second president of the newly formed Republic of Texas, advised the commissioners to investigate the area named Waterloo, noting the area's hills, waterways, and pleasant surroundings. Waterloo was selected, and Austin was chosen as the town's new name. The location was seen as a convenient crossroads for trade routes between Santa Fe and Galveston Bay, as well as routes between northern Mexico and the Red River. Edwin Waller was picked by Lamar to survey the village and draft a plan laying out the new capital. The original site was narrowed to 640 acres that fronted the Colorado River between two creeks, Shoal Creek and Waller Creek which was later named in his honor. The 14-block grid plan was bisected by a broad north-south thoroughfare, Congress Avenue, running up from the river to Capitol Square, where the new Texas state capitol was to be constructed. A temporary one-story capitol was erected on the corner of Colorado and 8th Streets. On August 1, 1839, the first auction of 217 out of 306 lots total was held. The grid plan Waller designed and surveyed now forms the basis of downtown Austin. Downtown In 1840, a series of conflicts between the Texas Rangers and the Comanches, known as the Council House Fight and the Battle of Plum Creek, pushed the Comanches westward, mostly ending conflicts in central Texas. Settlement in the area began to expand quickly. 
Travis County was established in 1840, and the surrounding counties were mostly established within the next two decades. Initially, the new capital thrived. But Lamar's political enemy, Sam Houston, used two Mexican army incursions to San Antonio as an excuse to move the government. Sam Houston fought bitterly against Lamar's decision to establish the capital in such a remote wilderness. The men and women who traveled mainly from Houston to conduct government business were intensely disappointed as well. By 1840, the population had risen to 856, of whom nearly half fled from Austin when Congress recessed. The resident African-American population listed in January of this same year was 176. The fear of Austin's proximity to the Indians and Mexico, which still considered Texas a part of their land, created an immense motive for Sam Houston, the first and third president of the Republic of Texas, to relocate the capital once again in 1841. Upon threats of Mexican troops in Texas, Houston raided the land office to transfer all official documents to Houston for safekeeping in what was later known as the Archive War, but the people of Austin would not allow this unaccompanied decision to be executed. The documents stayed, but the capital would temporarily move from Austin to Houston to Washington on the Brazos. Without the governmental body, Austin's population declined to a low of only a few hundred people throughout the early 1840s. The voting by the fourth president of the Republic, Anson Jones, and Congress, who reconvened in Austin in 1845, settled the issue to keep Austin the seat of government, as well as annex the Republic of Texas into the United States. In 1860, 38 percent of Travis County residents were slaves. In 1861, with the outbreak of the American Civil War, voters in Austin and other central Texas communities voted against secession. However, as the war progressed and fears of attack by Union forces increased, Austin contributed hundreds of men to the Confederate forces. The African-American population of Austin swelled dramatically after the enforcement of the Emancipation Proclamation in Texas by Union General Gordon Granger at Galveston, in an event commemorated as Juneteenth. Black communities such as Wheatville, Pleasant Hill, and Clarksville were established with Clarksville being the oldest surviving freedom town the original post-Civil War settlements founded by former African-American slaves west of the Mississippi River. In 1870, blacks made up 36.5% of Austin's population. Climate The post-war period saw dramatic population and economic growth. The opening of the Houston and Texas Central Railway in 1871 turned Austin into the major trading center for the region, with the ability to transport both cotton and cattle. The Missouri, Kansas and Texas line followed close behind. Austin was also the terminus of the southernmost leg of the Chisholm Trail, and drovers pushed cattle north to the railroad. Cotton was one of the few crops produced locally for export, and a cotton gin engine was located downtown near the trains for ginning cotton of its seeds and turning the product into bales for shipment. However, as other new railroads were built through the region in the 1870s, Austin began to lose its primacy in trade to the surrounding communities. In addition, the areas east of Austin took over cattle and cotton production from Austin, especially in towns like Hutto and Taylor that sit over the Blackland Prairie, with its deep, rich soils for producing cotton and hay. 2011 Drought In September 1881, 
Austin Public Schools held their first classes. The same year, Tillotson Collegiate and Normal Institute opened its doors. The University of Texas held its first classes in 1883, although classes had been held in the original wooden state capital for four years before. Demographics During the 1880s, Austin gained new prominence as the state capitol building was completed in 1888 and claimed as the seventh largest building in the world. In the late 19th century, Austin expanded its city limits to more than three times its former area, and the first granite dam was built on the Colorado River to power a new streetcar line and the new moon towers. Unfortunately, the first dam washed away in a flood on April 7, 1900. In the 1920s and 1930s, Austin launched a series of civic development and beautification projects that created much of the city's infrastructure and many of its parks. In addition, the state legislature established the Lower Colorado River Authority that, along with the city of Austin, created the system of dams along the Colorado River to form the Highland Lakes. These projects were enabled in large part because the Public Works Administration provided Austin with greater funding for municipal construction projects than other Texas cities. Economy During the early 20th century, a three-way system of social segregation emerged in Austin, with Anglos, African Americans, and Mexicans being separated by custom or law in most aspects of life, including housing, health care, and education. Many of the municipal improvement programs initiated during this period such as the construction of new roads, schools, and hospitals were deliberately designed to institutionalize this system of segregation. Deed restrictions also played an important role in residential segregation. After 1935 most housing deeds prohibited African Americans from using land. Combined with the system of segregated public services, racial segregation increased in Austin during the first half of the 20th century, with African Americans and Mexicans experiencing high levels of discrimination and social marginalization. In 1940, the destroyed granite dam on the Colorado River was finally replaced by a hollow concrete dam that formed Lake McDonald and which has withstood all floods since. In addition, the much larger Mansfield Dam was built by the LCRA upstream of Austin to form Lake Travis, a flood control reservoir. In the early 20th century, the Texas oil boom took hold creating tremendous economic opportunities in southeast Texas and north Texas. The growth generated by this boom largely passed by Austin at first, with the city slipping from fourth largest to tenth largest in Texas between 1880 and 1920. After the mid-20th century, Austin became established as one of Texas' major metropolitan centers. In 1970, the U.S. Census Bureau reported Austin's population as 14.5% Hispanic, 11.9% Black, and 73.4% non-Hispanic White. In the late 20th century, Austin emerged as an important high-tech center for semiconductors and software. The University of Texas at Austin emerged as a major university. The 1970s saw Austin's emergence in the national music scene, with local artists such as Willie Nelson, Asleep at the Wheel, and Stevie Ray Vaughan and iconic music venues such as the Armadillo World Headquarters. Over time, the long-running television program Austin City Limits, its namesake Austin City Limits Festival, and the South by Southwest Music Festival solidified the city's place in the music industry. Austin, the southernmost state capital of the contiguous 48 states, 
is located in central Texas. Austin is 160 miles northwest of Houston, 195 miles south of Dallas and 80 miles northeast of San Antonio. Arts and Culture In 2010, the city occupied a total area of 305.4 square miles. Approximately 7.2 square miles of this area is water. Old Austin Austin is situated at the foot of the Balcones Escarpment, on the Colorado River, with three artificial lakes within the city limits, Lady Bird Lake, Lake Austin, and Lake Walter Elong that is partly used for cooling water for the Decker Power Plant. Mansfield Dam and the foot of Lake Travis are located within the city's limits. Lady Bird Lake, Lake Austin, and Lake Travis are each on the Colorado River. White, 68.3%, Hispanic or Latino, 35.1%, African American, 8.1%, Asian, 6.3%, American Indian, 0.9%, Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 0.1%, two or more races, 3.4%. The elevation of Austin varies from 425 feet to approximately 1,000 feet above sea level. As a result of its straddling the Balcones Fault, much of the eastern part of the city is flat, with heavy clay and loam soils whereas the western part and western suburbs consist of rolling hills on the edge of the Texas Hill Country. Because the hills to the west are primarily limestone rock with a thin covering of topsoil, portions of the city are frequently subjected to flash floods from the runoff caused by thunderstorms. To help control this runoff and to generate hydroelectric power, the Lower Colorado River Authority operates a series of dams that form the Texas Highland Lakes. The lakes also provide venues for boating, swimming, and other forms of recreation within several parks on the lake shores. Austin is located at the intersection of four major ecological regions, and is consequently a temperate to hot green oasis with a highly variable climate having some characteristics of the desert, the tropics, and a wetter climate. The area is very diverse ecologically and biologically, and is home to a variety of animals and plants. Notably, the area is home to many types of wild flowers that blossom throughout the year but especially in the spring including the popular bluebonnets, some planted in an effort by Lady Bird Johnson, wife of former President Lyndon B. Johnson. Adelaide, South Australia, Australia since 1983, Engers, Maine et Pays de la Loire, France since 2011, Manaus, Amazonas, Brazil since 2015. Antil Yakupes, Turkey since 2009, Guangmyeong, Jiayongi, South Korea since 2001, Hackney, Greater London, England, United Kingdom, since February 2014, Koblenz, Rhineland Palatinate, Germany since 1991, Lima, Peru since 1981, Mazaru. Lesotho since 1978, Ita City, Japan since 1990, Orlu, Imo, Nigeria since 2000, Saltilla, Coahuila, Mexico. Since 1968, Taichung, Taiwan since 1986, Zishuangbana, Yunnan, China since 1997. A popular point of prominence in Austin is Mount Bonnell. At about 780 feet above sea level, it is a natural limestone formation overlooking Lake Austin on the Colorado River, with an observation deck at its summit. Annual Cultural Events 
music, film, theater. The soils of Austin range from shallow, gravelly clay loams over limestone in the western outskirts to deep, fine sandy loams, silta clay loams, silta clays, or clays in the city's eastern part. Some of the clays have pronounced shrink swell properties and are difficult to work under most moisture conditions. Many of Austin's soils, especially the clay rich types, are slightly to moderately alkaline and have free calcium carbonate. U.S. Washington Austin has several rock climbing locations. Rock climbing can be found at three Austin parks. Barton Creek Greenbelt, Bull Creek Park and McKinney Falls State Park. The sport climbing routes at Barton Creek Greenbelt with its many vertical to overhanging walls offer challenges to both the beginner and advanced climber. Austin's skyline historically was modest, dominated by the Texas State Capitol and the University of Texas main building. However, Many new high-rise towers have been constructed since 2000 Austin's 10 tallest buildings were completed after 2003. The city's tallest building, the Austonian, was topped out on September 17, 2009. Austin is currently undergoing a skyscraper boom, which includes recent construction on the now-complete 360 condominiums at 563 feet, Spring, the Austonian at 683 feet, and several other office, hotel, and residential buildings. Downtown's buildings are somewhat spread out, partly due to a set of zoning restrictions that preserve the view of the Texas State Capitol from various locations around Austin, known as the Capitol View Corridors. At night, parts of Austin are lit by artificial moonlight from moonlight towers built to illuminate the central part of the city. The 165-foot moonlight towers were built in the late 19th century and are now recognized as historic landmarks. Only 15 of the 31 original innovative towers remain standing in Austin, and none remain in any of the other cities where they were installed. The towers are featured in the 1993 film Dazed and Confused. A. L. Montgomery, A. K. Juno a. Z. Phoenix, A. R. Little Rock, C. A. Sacramento, C. O. Denver, C. T. Hartford, D. Dover, F. L. Tallahassee, G. A. Atlanta, Hi Honolulu, I. D. Boise, I. L. Springfield, in Indianapolis, I. A. Des Moines, K. S. Topeka, K. Y. Frankfurt, L. A. Baton Rouge, M. Augusta, M. D. Annapolis, Ma Boston, M. I. Lansing, M. N. St. Paul, M. S. Jackson, M. O. Jefferson City, M. T. Helena, N. E. Lincoln, N. V. Carson City, N. H. Concord, New Jersey Trenton, N. M. Santa Fe, New York Albany, N. C. Raleigh, N. D. Bismarck, O. Columbus, O. K. Oklahoma City, or Salem, Pa. Harrisburg, R.I. Providence, S.C. Columbia, S.D. Pierre, T.N. Nashville, T.X. Austin, U.T. Salt Lake City, V.T. Montpelier, V.A. Richmond, W.A. Olympia, W.V. Charleston, W.I. Madison, W.Y. Cheyenne. The central business district of Austin is home to the tallest condo towers in the state with the independent tall and the Austonian tall the independent will replace the Austonian as the tallest all residential building in the US west of the Mississippi River when completed in 2018 in 2005 then mayor will win set out a goal of having 25,000 people living downtown by 2015 Although downtown's growth did not meet this goal, 
downtown's residential population did surge from an estimated 5,000 in 2005 to 12,000 in 2015. The skyline has drastically changed in recent years, and the residential real estate market has remained relatively strong. As of December 2016, there are 31 high-rise projects either under construction, approved or planned to be completed in Austin's downtown core between 2017 and 2020. 16 of those are set to rise above 400 feet tall, including 4 above 600, and 8 above 500. An additional 15 towers are slated to stand between 300 and 399 tall. Downtown growth has been aided by the presence of a popular live music and nightlife scene, museums, restaurants, and Lady Bird Lake, considered one of the city's best recreational spots. The Second Street District consists of several new residential projects, restaurants, upscale boutiques, and other entertainment venues, as well as Austin City Hall. Across Second Street from Austin City Hall is the new ACL Live at the Moody Theatre where the long-running PBS program Austin City Limits, is filmed. It is located at the base of the new 478 feet W Hotel. The South by Southwest is a music, film, and interactive festival which occurs over five days each March in downtown Austin, and includes one of the world's largest music festivals, with more than 3,000 acts playing in more than 100 venues. Museums and Other Points of Interest Austin is located within the middle of a unique and narrow transitional zone between the dry deserts of the American Southwest and the lush, green, more humid regions of the American Southeast. Its climate, topography, and vegetation share characteristics of both. Officially, Austin has a humid subtropical climate under the Köppen climate classification. This climate is typified by very long, hot summers, short, mild winters, and warm transitional seasons in between. Austin averages 34.32 inches of annual rainfall and it is distributed mostly evenly throughout the year, though spring and fall are the wettest seasons. Sunshine is abundant during all seasons, with 2,650 hours or 60.3% of the possible total, of bright sunshine per year. The summer season in Austin is very hot, and average July and August highs frequently reach the high 90s or above. Highs reach 90 degrees Fahrenheit on 116 days per year, of which 18 days reach 100 degrees Fahrenheit. On average, the daytime high reaches 70 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer every day between March 6 and November 20, rising to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer between April 14 and October 24. The highest ever recorded temperature was 112 degrees Fahrenheit occurring on September 5, 2000, and August 28, 2011. An uncommon characteristic of Austin's climate is its highly variable humidity, which fluctuates frequently depending on the shifting patterns of airflow and wind direction. It is common for a lengthy series of warm, dry, low humidity days to be occasionally interrupted by very warm and humid days, and vice versa. Humidity rises when the air drifts inland from the Gulf of Mexico but decreases significantly when the air is channeled through the Chihuahuan Desert of West Texas. Winters in Austin are mild with cool nights. January is the coolest month with an average daytime high of 61 degrees Fahrenheit. The overnight low reaches or exceeds freezing 19 times per year, and sinks below 45 degrees Fahrenheit during 88 evenings per year including most nights between mid-December and mid-February. 
Lows in the upper 30s also occur commonly during the winter. Conversely, winter months are also capable of occasionally producing warm days. On average, 8 days in January reach or exceed 70 degrees Fahrenheit and one day reaches 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest ever recorded temperature in the city was 2 degree F on January 31, 1949. Roughly every two years Austin experiences an ice storm that freezes roads over and cripples travel in the city for 24 to 48 hours. When Austin received 0.04 inches of ice on January 24, 2014, there were 278 vehicular collisions. Similarly, snowfall is rare in Austin. A snow event of 0.9 inches on February 4, 2011, caused more than 300 car crashes and a 13-inch snowstorm brought the city to a near standstill in 1985. The most recent major snow event occurred on December 7, 2017, when 1.3 inches was recorded at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Sports Parks and Recreation Government and Law Typical of Central Texas, severe weather in Austin is a threat that can strike during any season. However, it is most common during the spring. According to most classifications, Austin lies within the extreme southern periphery of Tornado Alley, although many sources place Austin outside of Tornado Alley altogether. Consequently, tornadoes strike Austin less frequently than areas farther to the north. However, severe weather and slash or supercell thunderstorms can occur multiple times per year, bringing damaging winds, lightning, heavy rain, and occasional flash flooding to the city. The deadliest storm to ever strike city limits was the Twin Tornadoes Storm of May 4, 1922, while the deadliest tornado outbreak to ever strike the metro area was the Central Texas Tornado Outbreak of May 27, 1997. From October 2010 through September 2011, both major reporting stations in Austin, Camp Mabry, and Bergstrom International, had the least rainfall of a water year on record, receiving less than a third of normal precipitation. This was a result of La Nina conditions in the eastern Pacific Ocean where water was significantly cooler than normal. David Brown, a regional official with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has explained that these kinds of droughts will have effects that are even more extreme in the future, given a warming and drying regional climate. According to the 2010 United States Census, the racial composition of Austin is. At the 2000 United States Census, there were 656,562 people, 265,649 households, and 141,590 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,610.4 inhabitants per square mile. There were 276,842 housing units at an average density of 1,100.7 per square mile. There were 265,648 households out of which 26.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 38.1% were married couples living together. 10.8% had a female householder with no husband present, and 46.7% were non-families. 32.8% of all households were made up of individuals and 4.6% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.40 and the average family size was 3.14.
In the city, the population was spread out with 22.5% under the age of 18, 16.6% .6 from 18 to 24, 37.1% from 25 to 44, 17.1% from 45 to 64, and 6.7% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 30 years. For every 100 females there were 105.8 males. Crime The median income for a household in the city was $42,689 US dollars, and the median income for a family was $54,091. Males had a median income of $35,545 vs. $30,046 for females. The per capita income for the city was $24,163. About 9.1% of families and 14.4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 16.5% of those under age 18 and 8.7% of those age 65 or over. The median house price was $185,906 in 2009, and it has increased every year since 2004. The median value of a house in which the owner occupies it was $227,800 in 2014, which is higher than the average American home value of $175,700. A 2014 University of Texas study stated that Austin was the only U.S. city with a fast growth rate between 2000 and 2010 with a net loss in African Americans. As of 2014, Austin's African American and non-Hispanic white percentage share of the total population is declining despite the absolute number of both ethnic groups increasing. Austin's non-Hispanic white population first dropped below 50% in 2005. The rapid growth of the Hispanic and Asian population has outpaced all other ethnic groups in the city. According to one survey completed in 2014, it is estimated that 5.3% of residents in the Austin metropolitan area identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. The Austin metropolitan area had the third highest rate in the nation. The Greater Austin Metropolitan Statistical Area had a gross domestic product of $86 billion in 2010. Austin is considered to be a major center for high tech. Thousands of graduates each year from the engineering and computer science programs at the University of Texas at Austin provide a steady source of employees that help to fuel Austin's technology and defense industry sectors. The region's rapid growth has led Forbes to rank the Austin metropolitan area number one among all big cities for jobs for 2012 in their annual survey and WSJ Market Watch to rank the area number one for growing businesses. By 2013, Austin ranked number 14 on Forbes' list of the best places for business and careers. As a result of the high concentration of high-tech companies in the region, Austin was strongly affected by the dot-com boom in the late 1990s and subsequent bust. Austin's largest employers include the Austin Independent School District, the City of Austin, Dell, the U.S. Federal Government, NXP Semiconductors, IBM, ST. David's Healthcare Partnership. Seton Family of Hospitals, the State of Texas, the Texas State University, and the University of Texas at Austin. Other high-tech companies with operations in Austin include 3M, Apple, Amazon, AMD, Apartment Ratings, Applied Materials, Arm Holdings, Big Commerce, BioWare, Blizzard Entertainment, 
Buffalo Technology, Cirrus Logic, Cisco Systems, Dropbox, eBay, PayPal, Electronic Arts, Flextronics, Facebook, Google, Hewlett Packard, Hoover's, HomeAway, HostGator, Intel Corporation, National Instruments, NVIDIA, Oracle, Polycom, Qualcomm, Inc., Rackspace, Retail Me Not, Rooster Teeth, Samsung Group, Silicon, Laboratories, Spansion, United Devices, and Xerox. In 2010, Facebook accepted a grant to build a downtown office that could bring as many as 200 jobs to the city. The proliferation of technology companies has led to the region's nickname, the Silicon Hills, and spurred development that greatly expanded the city. Austin is also emerging as a hub for pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies, the city is home to about 85 of them. The city was ranked by the Milken Institute as the number 12 biotech and life science center in the United States. Companies such as Hospira, Pharmaceutical Product Development, and Arthrocare Corporation are located there. Whole Foods Market is an upscale, international grocery store chain specializing in fresh and packaged food products many having an organic-slash-local-slash-natural theme. It was founded and is headquartered in Austin. Other companies based in Austin include Freescale Semiconductor, Good Pop, Temple Inland, Sweet Leaf Tea Company, Keller Williams Realty, National Western Life, GSDNM, Dimensional Fund Advisors, Golf Smith, Four Star Group, Easy Corp, Tito's Vodka, and Yeti. In addition to national and global corporations, Austin features a strong network of independent, unique, locally owned firms and organizations. Keep Austin Weird has been a local motto for years, featured on bumper stickers and t shirts. This motto has not only been used in promoting Austin's eccentricity and diversity, but is also meant to bolster support of local independent businesses. According to the 2010 book, Weird City, the phrase was begun by a local Austin Community College librarian, Red Wasnick, and his wife, Karen Pavelka, who were concerned about Austin's rapid descent into commercialism and overdevelopment. The slogan has been interpreted many ways since its inception, but remains an important symbol for many Austinites who wish to voice concerns over rapid growth and irresponsible development. Austin has a long history of vocal citizen resistance to development projects perceived to degrade the environment, or to threaten the natural and cultural landscapes. City Government Other Levels of Government According to the Nielsen Company, adults in Austin read and contribute to blogs more than those in any other U.S. metropolitan area. Austin residents have the highest Internet usage in all of Texas. Austin was selected as the number two best big city in Best Places to Live by Money magazine in 2006, and number three in 2009 and also the greenest city in America by MSN. According to Travel and Leisure magazine, Austin ranks number one on the list of cities with the best people, referring to the personalities and attributes of the citizens. In 2012, the city was listed among the ten best places to retire in the U.S. by CBS Money Watch. In 2015, Forbes listed Austin as number one boomtown because of its economic strength, including jobs among other appealing attributes. Politics South Congress is a shopping district stretching down South Congress Avenue from downtown. This area is home to coffee shops, eccentric stores, restaurants, food trucks, trailers, and festivals. 
It prides itself on keeping Austin weird, especially with development in the surrounding area. Environmental Movement Education Higher Education Public Primary and Secondary Education Private and Alternative Education Media Transportation Highways Tollways Airports Intercity Bus Service Public Transportation Cycling Walkability Old Austin is an adage often used by the native citizens in Austin, Texas when being nostalgic to refer to the olden days of the capital city of Texas. Although Austin is also known internationally as the live music capital of the world and its catchphrase slash slogan Keep Austin Weird can be heard echoed in places as far as Buffalo, New York, and Santa Monica, CA. The term Old Austin refers to a time when the city was smaller and more bohemian with a considerably lower cost of living and better known for its lack of traffic, hipsters, and urban sprawl. It is often employed by long-time residents expressing displeasure at the rapidly changing culture. The growth and popularity of Austin can be seen by the expansive development taking place in its downtown landscape. Forbes ranked Austin as the second fastest growing city in 2015. This growth can have a negative impact on long-time small businesses that cannot keep up with the expenses associated with gentrification and the rising cost of real estate. An iconic Austin musician, Dale Watson, recently described his move away from Austin in a NPR interview saying, I just really feel the city has sold itself. Just because you're going to get $45 million for a company to come to town if it's not in the best interest of the town, I don't think they should do it. This city was never about money. It was about quality of life. He also expressed how his move away from Austin to Memphis was motivated by the opinion that Memphis is like Austin was like in the 1980s. Watson expressed that Austin, Texas in the early 80s was musically and artistically thriving, more rich. There was something raw and real, and the music was raw and real, it just seemed less manufactured. The O. Henry House Museum hosts the annual O. Henry Pun-Off, a pun contest where the successful contestants exhibit wit akin to that of the author William Sidney Porter. Other annual events include Eeyore's Birthday Party, Spamarama, Austin Gay Pride in August, the Austin Reggae Festival in April, Kite Festival, Texas Craft Brewers Festival in September, Art City Austin in April, East Austin Studio Tour in November, and Carnival Brasileiro in February. Sixth Street features annual festivals such as the Pecan Street Festival and Halloween Night. The three-day Austin City Limits Music Festival has been held in Zilker Park every year since 2002. Every year around the end of March and the beginning of April, Austin is home to Texas Relay Weekend. Austin's Zilker Park tree is a Christmas display made of lights strung from the top of a moonlight tower in Zilker Park. The Zilker tree is lit in December along with the Trail of Lights, an Austin Christmas tradition. The Trail of Lights were cancelled four times, first starting in 2001 and 2002 due to the September 11th attacks and again in 2010 and 2011 due to budget shortfalls, but the trail was turned back on for the 2012 holiday season. As Austin's official slogan is the live music capital of the world, the city has a vibrant live music scene with more music venues per capita than any other U.S. city.
Austin's music revolves around the many nightclubs on 6th Street and an annual film-slash-music-slash-interactive festival known as South by Southwest. The concentration of restaurants, bars, and music venues in the city's downtown core is a major contributor to Austin's live music scene as the zip code encompassing the downtown entertainment district hosts the most bar or alcohol-serving establishments in the U.S. The longest-running concert music program on American television, Austin City Limits, is recorded at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Austin City Limits and C3 Presents produce the Austin City Limits Music Festival, an annual music and art festival held at Zilker Park in Austin. Other music events include the Urban Music Festival, Fun 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 Fest, Chaos in Tejas and Old Settlers Music Festival. Austin Lyric Opera performs multiple operas each year. The Austin Symphony Orchestra performs a range of classical, pop and family performances and is led by music director and conductor Peter Bay. The Austin Baroque Orchestra and La Folia Austin Baroque Ensembles both give historically informed performances of Baroque music. Austin hosts several film festivals including SXSW Film Festival and Austin Film Festival, which hosts international films. In 2004 the city was first in Moviemaker magazine's annual top 10 cities to live and make movies. Austin has been the location for a number of motion pictures, partly due to the influence of the University of Texas at Austin Department of Radio Television Film. Films produced in Austin include The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Songwriter, Man of the House, Second Hand Lions, Chainsaw Massacre 2, Nadine, Waking Life, Spy Kids, The Faculty, Dazed and Confused, Wild Texas Wind, Office Space, The Life of David Gale, Miss Congeniality, Doubting Thomas, Slacker, Idiocracy, The New Guy, Hope Floats, The Alamo, Blank Check, The Wendell Baker Story, School of Rock, A Slipping Down Life, A Scanner Darkly, Saturday Morning Massacre, and most recently, The Cone. Brothers True Grit, Grind House, Machete, How to Eat Fried Worms, Band Slam, and Laser Team. In order to draw future film projects to the area, the Austin Film Society has converted several airplane hangars from the former Mueller Airport into filmmaking center Austin Studios. Projects that have used facilities at Austin Studios include music videos by The Flaming Lips and feature films such as 25th Hour and Sin City. Austin also hosted the MTV series, The Real World, Austin in 2005. The film review websites Spill.com and Ain't It Cool News are based in Austin. Rooster Teeth Productions, creator of popular web series such as Red vs. Blue and RWBY, is also located in Austin. Austin has a strong theater culture, with dozens of itinerant and resident companies producing a variety of work. The Church of the Friendly Ghost is a volunteer-run arts organization supporting creative expression and counterculture community. The city also has live performance theater venues such as the Zachary Scott Theater Center, Vortex Repertory Company, Salvage Vanguard Theater, Rude Mechanicals The Off Center, Austin Playhouse, Scottish Rite Children's Theater, Hyde Park Theater, The Blue Theater, the Hideout Theatre, and Esther's Follies. The Victory Grill was a renowned venue on the Chitlin Circuit. Public art and performances in the parks and on bridges are popular. Austin hosts the Fuse Box Festival each April featuring international, leading-edge theatre artists. The Paramount Theatre, opened in downtown Austin in 1915 
contributes to Austin's theatre and film culture, showing classic films throughout the summer and hosting regional premieres for films such as Miss Congeniality. The Zilker Park Summer Musical is a long-running outdoor musical. The Long Center for the Performing Arts is a 2,300-seat theatre built partly with materials reused from the old Lester E. Palmer Auditorium. Ballet Austin is the fourth-largest ballet academy in the country. Each year Ballet Austin's 20-member professional company performs ballets from a wide variety of choreographers, including their international award-winning artistic director, Stephen Mills. The city is also home to the Ballet East Dance Company, a modern dance ensemble, and the Tapestry Dance Company which performs a variety of dance genres. The Austin Improvisational Theatre scene has several theatres, Cold Town Theatre, the Hideout Theatre, the New Movement Theatre, and the Institution Theatre. Austin also hosts the Out of Bounds Improv Festival which draws comedic artists in all disciplines to Austin. Museums in Austin include the Texas Memorial Museum, the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center, Thinkery, the Blanton Museum of Art, the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum across the street, the Contemporary Austin, the Elizabethany Museum and the galleries at the Harry Ransom Center. The Texas state capitol itself is also a major tourist attraction. The Driscoll Hotel, built in 1886, once owned by George W. Littlefield, and located at 6th and Brazos Streets, was finished just before the construction of the capitol building. 6th Street is a musical hub for the city. The Enchanted Forest a multi-acre outdoor music, art, and performance art space in South Austin hosts events such as fire dancing and circus-like acts. Austin is also home to the Lyndon Baines Johnson Library and Museum, which houses documents and artifacts related to the Johnson administration, including LBJ's limousine and a recreation of the Oval Office. Locally produced art is featured at the South Austin Museum of Popular Culture. The Mexicarte Museum is a Mexican and Mexican-American art museum founded in 1983. Austin is also home to the O. Henry House Museum, which served as the residence of O. Henry from 1893 to 1895. Farmers markets are popular attractions providing a variety of locally grown and often organic foods. Austin also has many odd statues and landmarks, such as the Stevie Ray Vaughan statue, the Willie Nelson statue, the Manja dinosaur, the Loca Maria lady at Taco Express, the Hyde Park Jim's giant flexed arm, and Daniel Johnston S. Hi, how are you? Jeremiah the Innocent Frog Mural the N. W. Richards Congress Avenue Bridge houses the world's largest urban population of Mexican free-tailed bats. Starting in March, up to 1.5 million bats take up residence inside the bridge's expansion and contraction zones as well as in long horizontal grooves running the length of the bridge's underside, an environment ideally suited for raising their young. Every evening around sunset, the bats emerge in search of insects, an exit visible on weather radar. Watching the bat emergence is an event that is popular with locals and tourists, with more than 100,000 viewers per year. The bats migrate to Mexico each winter. The Austin Zoo, located in unincorporated western Travis County, is a rescue zoo that provides sanctuary to displaced animals from a variety of situations, including those involving neglect. Many Austinites support the athletic programs of the University of Texas at Austin known as the Texas Longhorns. During the 2005-06 academic term, 
Longhorns football team was named the NCAA Division IFBS National Football Champion, and Longhorns baseball team won the College World Series. The Texas Longhorns play home games in the state's second-largest sports stadium, Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium, seating over 101,000 fans. Baseball games are played at UFCU Dish Falk Field. Austin is the most populous city in the United States without a major league professional sports team. Minor league professional sports came to Austin in 1996, when the Austin Ice Bats began playing at the Travis County Expo Center, they were later replaced by the Al Texas Stars. Austin has hosted a number of other professional teams, including the Austin Spurs of the NBA G League, the Austin Aztecs of the United Soccer League, the Austin Outlaws in WFA football, and the Austin Aces in WTT tennis. Natural features like the bicycle-friendly Texas Hill Country and generally mild climate make Austin the home of several endurance and multi-sport races and communities. The Capital 10,000 is the largest 10K race in Texas, and approximately fifth largest in the United States. The Austin Marathon has been run in the city every year since 1992. Additionally the city is home to the largest five-mile race in Texas, named the Turkey Trot as it is run annually on Thanksgiving. Started in 1991 by Thundercloud Subs, a local sandwich chain, the event has grown to host over 20,000 runners. All proceeds are donated to Caritas of Austin, a local charity. The Austin-founded American Swimming Association hosts several swim races around town. Austin is also the hometown of several cycling groups and the disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong. Combining these three disciplines is a growing crop of triathlons including the capital of Texas triathlon held every Memorial Day on and around Lady Bird Lake, Auditorium Shores, and downtown Austin. In June 2010 it was announced that the Austin area would host the Formula One, United States Grand Prix, from 2012 until 2021. The state pledged $25 million in public funds annually for 10 years to pay the sanctioning fees for the race. A Formula One circuit was built at an estimated cost of $250 to $300 million, and is located just east of the Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Circuit of the Americas also plays host to MotoGP World Championships from 2013. The summer of 2014 marked the inaugural season for World Team Tennis Team Austin Aces, formerly Orange County Breakers of the Southern California region. Austin Aces played their matches at the Cedar Park Center northwest of Austin, and featured former professionals Andy Roddick and Marion Bartoli, as well as current WTA Tour player Vera Zivonareva. The team left after the 2015 season. The Austin Parks and Recreation Department received the Excellence in Aquatics Award in 1999 and the Gold Medal Awards in 2004 from the National Recreation and Park Association. Home to more than 50 public swimming pools, Austin has parks and pools throughout the city. There are several well known swimming locations. These include Deep Eddy Pool, Texas' oldest man-made swimming pool, and Barton Springs Pool, the nation's largest natural swimming pool in an urban area. Barton Springs Pool is spring-fed while Deep Eddy is well-fed. Both range in temperature from about 68.0 degrees Fahrenheit during the winter to about 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer. Hippie Hollow Park, a county park situated along Lake Travis, is the only officially sanctioned clothing-optional public park in Texas. 
Activities include rock climbing, kayaking, swimming, mountain biking, exploring, and hiking along the Green Belt, a long spanning area that runs through the city. Some well known naturally forming swimming holes along Austin's Green Belt include Twin Falls, Sculpture Falls, and Camel's Hole. Zilker Park, a large green area close to downtown, forms part of the Green Belt along the Colorado River. Hamilton Pool is a pool and wildlife park located about 30 minutes from the city. To strengthen the region's parks system, which spans more than 29,000 acres, the Austin Parks Foundation was established in 1992 to develop and improve parks in and around Austin. APF works to fill the city's park funding gap by leveraging volunteers, philanthropists, park advocates, and strategic collaborations to develop, maintain and enhance Austin's parks, trails, and green spaces. APF fosters innovative public-slash-private partnerships and since 2006, has given over 145 grants totaling more than $2 million in service to the greater Austin community. The city had 39 homicides in 2016, the most since 1997. FBI statistics show that overall violent and property crimes dropped in Austin in 2015, but increased in suburban areas of the city. One such southeastern suburb, Del Valle, reported eight homicides within two months in 2016. According to 2016 APD crime statistics, the 78,723 census tract had the most violent crime, with six murders, 25 rapes, and 81 robberies. One of the first American school mass shooting incidents took place in Austin on August 1, 1966, when Charles Whitman shot 43 people, killing 13 from the top of the University of Texas Tower. This event led to the formation of the SWAT team. Austin is administered by an 11-member city council. The council is accompanied by a hired city manager under the manager-council system of municipal governance. Council and mayoral elections are nonpartisan, with a runoff in case there is no majority winner. A referendum approved by voters on November 6. 2012 changed the council composition from six council members plus a mayor elected at large to the current 10 plus 1 district system. November 2014 marked the first election under the new system. Austin formerly operated its city hall at 128 West 8th Street. Antoine Predoc and Codera Collar Negrit and Reed Architects designed a new city hall building, which was intended to reflect what the Dallas Morning News referred to as a crazy quilt vitality, that embraces everything from country music to environmental protests and high tech swagger. The new city hall, built from recycled materials, has solar panels in its garage. The city hall, at 301 West 2nd Street opened Indiana November 2004. The current mayor of Austin is Steve Odler. Law enforcement in Austin is provided by the Austin Police Department, except for state government buildings, which are patrolled by the Texas Department of Public Safety. The University of Texas Police operate from the University of Texas. Fire protection within the city limits is provided by the Austin Fire Department, while the surrounding county is divided into 12 geographical areas known as emergency services districts, which are covered by separate regional fire departments. Emergency medical services are provided for the whole county by Austin Travis County Emergency Medical Services. Austin is the county seat of Travis County and hosts the He-Man Marion Sweat Travis County Courthouse downtown, 
as well as other county government offices. The Texas Department of Transportation operates the Austin District Office in Austin. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice operates the Austin I and Austin II District Parole Offices in Austin. The United States Postal Service operates several post offices in Austin. Austin is known as an enclave of liberal politics in an otherwise conservative state so much so, that the city is sometimes sarcastically called the People's Republic of Austin by residents of other parts of Texas, and conservatives in the Texas legislature. Since redistricting following the 2010 United States Census, Austin has been divided between six congressional districts at the federal level, Texas's 35th, Texas's 25th, Texas's 10th, Texas's 21st, Texas's 17th, and Texas's 31st. Texas's 35th Congressional District is represented by Democrat Lloyd Doggett. The other five districts are represented by Republicans, of whom only one, Michael McCall of the 10th District, lives in Travis County. As a result of the major party realignment that began in the 1970s, Central Austin became a stronghold of the Democratic Party while the suburbs tend to vote Republican. A controversial turning point in the political history of the Austin area was the 2003 Texas redistricting. Before then, Austin had been entirely or almost entirely within the borders of a single congressional district what was then the 10th district for over a century. Opponents characterized the resulting district layout as excessively partisan gerrymandering, and the plan was challenged in court by Democratic and minority activists. Of note, the Supreme Court of the United States has never struck down a redistricting plan for being excessively partisan. The plan was subsequently upheld by a three-judge federal panel in late 2003, and on June 28. 2006, the matter was largely settled when the Supreme Court, in a 7-2 decision, upheld the entire congressional redistricting plan with the exception of a Hispanic majority district in southwest Texas. This affected Austin's districting, as U.S. Rep. Lloyd Doggett's district was found to be insufficiently compact to compensate for the reduced minority influence in the Southwest District, it was redrawn so that it took in most of southeastern Travis County and several counties to its south and east. Overall, the city is a blend of downtown liberalism and suburban conservatism but leans to the political left as a whole. The city last went to a Republican candidate in 2000 when former Texas Governor George W. Bush successfully ran for president. In 2004, the Democrats rebounded strongly as John Kerry enjoyed a 14.0% margin over Bush, who once again won Texas. City residents have been supportive of alternative candidates, for example. Ralph Nader won 10.4% of the vote in Austin in 2000. In 2003, the city adopted a resolution against the USA Patriot Act that reaffirmed constitutionally guaranteed rights. Of Austin's six state legislative districts, three are strongly Democratic and three are swing districts, two of which are held by Democrats and one of which is held by a Republican. However, two of its three congressional districts are presently held by Republicans, with only the 25th held by a Democrat. This is largely due to the 2003 redistricting, which left downtown Austin without an exclusive congressional seat of its own. Travis County was also the only county in Texas to reject Texas Constitutional Amendment Proposition 2 that effectively outlawed gay marriage and status equal or similar to it and did so by a wide margin. 
Two of the candidates for president in the 2004 race called Austin home. Michael Badnerick, the Libertarian Party candidate, and David Cobb of the Green Party both had lived in Austin. During the run-up to the election in November, a presidential debate was held at the University of Texas at Austin Student Union involving the two candidates. While the Commission on Presidential Debates only invites Democrats and Republicans to participate in televised debates, the debate at UT was open to all presidential candidates. Austin also hosted one of the last presidential debates between Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton during their heated race for the Democratic nomination in 2008. In the 2016 presidential election, Travis County, which contains the majority of Austin, voted for Hillary Clinton by a 38.9 point margin. The distinguishing political movement of Austin politics has been that of the environmental movement, which spawned the parallel neighborhood movement, then the more recent conservationist movement, and eventually the current ongoing debate about sense of place and preserving the Austin quality of life. Much of the environmental movement has matured into a debate on issues related to saving and creating an Austin sense of place. In 2012, Austin became just one of a few cities in Texas to ban the sale and use of plastic bags. Researchers at Central Connecticut State University ranked Austin the 16th most literate city in the United States for 2008. The Austin Public Library operates the John Henry Falk Library and various library branches. In addition, the University of Texas at Austin operates the seventh largest academic library in the nation. Austin was voted America's number one college town by the Travel Channel. Over 43% of Austin residents age 25 and over hold a bachelor's degree while 16% hold a graduate degree. In 2009, Greater Austin ranked 8th among metropolitan areas in the United States for bachelor's degree attainment with nearly 39% of area residents over 25 holding a bachelor's degree. Austin is home to the University of Texas at Austin the flagship institution of the University of Texas system with over 38,000 undergraduate students and 12,000 graduate students. In 2015 rankings, the university was ranked 53rd among national universities by U.S. News & World Report. UT has annual research expenditures of over $595 million and has the highest ranked business, engineering, and law programs of any university in the state of Texas. The Texas State University System, which consists of eight institutions throughout Texas and educates more than 84,000 students, is headquartered in downtown Austin. Other institutions of higher learning in Austin include St. Edwards University, Houston Tillotson University, Austin Community College, Concordia University, the Seminary of the Southwest, the Acton School of Business, Texas Health and Science University, University of St. Augustine for Health Sciences, Austin Graduate School of Theology, Austin Presbyterian Theological Seminary, Virginia College S. Austin Campus, The Art Institute of Austin, Southern Careers Institute of Austin, Austin Conservatory, and a branch of Park University. The Austin area has 29 public school districts, 17 charter schools and 69 private schools. Most of the city is served by the Austin Independent School District. This district includes notable schools such as the Magnet Liberal Arts and Science Academy High School of Austin, Texas, which, by test scores, has consistently been within the top 30 high schools in the nation, as well as the Ann Richards School for Young Women Leaders. 
Some parts of Austin are served by other districts, including Round Rock, Flugerville, Leander, Manor, Del Valle, Lake Travis, Hayes, and Eanes ISDs. Four of the metro's major public school systems, representing 54% of area enrollment, are included in Expansion Management Magazine's latest annual education quality ratings of nearly 2,800 school districts nationwide. Two district scenes and Round Rock are rated gold medal, the highest of the magazine's cost performance categories. Austin has a large network of private and alternative education institutions for children in preschool 12th grade including Abrome, ACE Academy, Acton Academy, Austin International School, Austin Jewish Academy, Austin Peace Academy, the Austin School for the Performing and Visual Arts, the Austin Waldorf School, Brentwood Christian School, Cleveview Sudbury School, Concordia Academy, the Griffin School, Holy Family Catholic School, Huntington Surrey, Inside Outside School, Integrity Academy, Headwaters School, Hyde Park Baptist, Kirby Hall School, Longview Micro School, Paragon Preparatory Middle School, Progress School, Redeemer Lutheran School, Regents School of Austin, Renaissance Academy, San Juan Diego Catholic High School, Skybridge Academy, St. Andrews Episcopal School, St. Austin Catholic School, St. Francis School, St. Gabriel's Catholic School, St. Ignatius Martyr Catholic School, St. Mary's, St. Michael's Catholic Academy, St. Paul Lutheran School, St. Stevens Episcopal School, St. Teresa's, Trinity Episcopal School, and a number of Montessori schools. Along with homeschooling and unschooling communities, Austin is home to a number of part-time learning environments designed to offer basic academics and inspired mentoring. Such current resources include the Whole Life Learning Center and AHB Community School. Notable People Twin Towns Sister Cities Notes Bibliography As Pago Pago, Guhagatna M. P. Saipan, P. R. San Juan, 6. Charlotte Amelie. Austin is also home to child developmental institutions including the Center for Autism and Related Disorders, the Central Texas Autism Center, Johnson Center for Child Health and Development and many more. Austin's main daily newspaper is the Austin American Statesman. The Austin Chronicle is Austin's alternative weekly, while the Daily Texan is the student newspaper of the University of Texas at Austin. Austin's business newspaper is the weekly Austin Business Journal. The Austin Monitor is an online outlet that specializes in insider reporting on City Hall, Travis County Commissioner's Court, AISD, and other related local civics beats. The Monitor is backed by the non-profit Capital of Texas Media Foundation. Austin also has numerous smaller special interest or sub-regional newspapers such as the Oak Hill Gazette, West Lake Picayune, Hill Country News, Round Rock Leader, NOCO, and The Villager among others. Texas Monthly, a major regional magazine, is also headquartered in Austin. The Texas Observer, a muckraking bi-weekly political magazine, has been based in Austin for over five decades. The weekly Community Impact newspaper published by John Garrett, former publisher of the Austin Business Journal has five regional editions and is delivered to every house and business within certain zip codes and all of the news is specific to those zip codes.
Another statewide publication based in Austin is the Texas Tribune, an online publication focused on Texas politics. The Tribune is user-supported through donations, a business model similar to public radio. The editor is Evan Smith, former editor of Texas Monthly. Smith CEO founded the Texas Tribune, a non-profit, non-partisan public media organization, with Austin venture capitalist John Thornton and veteran journalist Ross Ramsey. Commercial radio stations include K's FM, KVET, KVET FM, KKMJ FM, KLBJ, KLBJ FM, KTSN, KFMK, Coke FM, and KPEZ. Cut FM is the leading public radio station in Texas and produces the majority of its content locally. Coop is a volunteer-run radio station with more than 60 locally produced programs. KVRX is the student-run college radio station of the University of Texas at Austin with a focus on local and non-mainstream music and community programming. Other listener-supported stations include Kazi and KMFA. Network television stations include KTBC, KVUE, KXAN, KITV, KLRU, KNVA, KBVO, and KAKW. KLRU produces several award-winning locally produced programs such as Austin City Limits. Alex Jones, journalist, radio show host and filmmaker produces his talk show The Alex Jones Show in Austin which broadcasts nationally on more than 60 AM and FM radio stations in the United States, WWCR Radio Shortwave and XM Radio, Channel 166. In 2009, 72.7% of Austin commuters drove alone, with other mode shares being 10.4% carpool, 6% work from home, 5% use transit, 2.3% walk, and 1% bicycle. In 2016, the American Community Survey estimated modal shares for Austin commuters of 73.5% for driving alone, 9.6% for carpooling, 3.6% for riding transit, 2% for walking, and 1.5% for cycling. Central Austin lies between two major north-south freeways, Interstate 35 to the east and the Mopac Expressway to the west. U.S. Highway 183 runs from northwest to southeast and State Highway 71 crosses the southern part of the city from east to west, completing a rough box around central and north-central Austin. Austin is the largest city in the United States to be served by only one interstate highway. U.S. Highway 290 enters Austin from the east and merges into Interstate 35. Its highway designation continues south on I-35 and then becomes part of Highway 71, continuing to the west. Highway 290 splits from Highway 71 in southwest Austin, in an interchange known as the Y. Highway 71 continues to Brady, Texas, and Highway 290 continues west to intersect Interstate 10, near Junction. Interstate 35 continues south through San Antonio to Laredo on the Texas-Mexico border. Interstate 35 is the highway link to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in northern Texas. There are two links to Houston, Texas. Highway 183 leads northwest of Austin toward Lampasas. In the mid-1980s, construction was completed on Loop 360, a scenic highway that curves through the hill country from near the 71-Mopac interchange in the south to near the 183-Mopac interchange in the north. The iconic Pennybacker Bridge, also known as the 360 Bridge, 
crosses Lake Austin to connect the northern and southern portions of Loop 360. State Highway 130 is a bypass route designed to relieve traffic congestion, starting from Interstate 35 just north of Georgetown and running along a parallel route to the east, where it bypasses Round Rock, Austin, San Marcos, and New Braunfels before ending at Interstate 10 east of Seguin, where drivers could drive 30 miles west to return to Interstate 35 in San Antonio. The first segment was opened in November 2006, which was located east of Austin Bergstrom International Airport at Austin's southeast corner on State Highway 71. Highway 130 runs concurrently with Highway 45 from Pflugerville on the north until it reaches US 183 well south of Austin, where it splits off and goes west. The entire route of State Highway 130 is now complete with Last Leg, which opened on November 1, 2012. The highway is noted for having the entire route with a speed limit of at least 80 miles per hour. The 41-mile section of the toll road between Mustang Ridge and Seguin has a posted speed limit of 85 miles per hour the highest posted speed limit in the United States. State Highway 45 runs east-west from just south of Highway 183 in Cedar Park to 130 inside Pflugerville. A tolled extension of State Highway Loop 1 was also created. A new southeast leg of Highway 45 has recently been completed running from US 183 and the south end of Segment 5 of TX 130 south of Austin due west to I-35 at the FM 1327-Creedmoor exit between the south end of Austin and Buda. The 1838 toll road opened March 2007, providing a tolled alternative to US 183 through the cities of Leander and Cedar Park. Currently under construction is a change to East US 290 from US 183 to the town of Manor. Officially, the tollway will be dubbed Tollway 290 with the Manor Expressway American Samoa a nickname. Despite the overwhelming initial opposition to the toll road concept when it was first announced, all three toll roads have exceeded revenue projections. Austin's airport is Austin Bergstrom International Airport, located 5 miles southeast of the city. The airport is on the site of the former Bergstrom Air Force Base, which was closed in 1993 as part of the base realignment and closure process. Previously, Robert Mueller Municipal Airport was the commercial airport of Austin. Austin Executive Airport serves the general aviation coming into the city, as well as other smaller airports outside of the city center. Greyhound Lines operates the Austin Station at 916 East Koenig Lane just east of Airport Boulevard and adjacent to Highland Mall. Turamex Internacional operates bus service from Austin to Nuevo Laredo and on to many destinations in Mexico. The Turamex station is located at 5012 East 7th Street near Shady Lane. Megabus offers daily service to San Antonio, Dallas-Fort Worth and Houston from a stop at Dobie Center. The Capital Metropolitan Transportation Authority provides public transportation to the city, primarily by bus. Some heavily utilized routes feature bus rapid transit with 60-foot-long, train-like, high-tech buses. Capital Metro opened a 32-mile commuter rail system known as Capital Metrorail on March 22, 2010. The system was built on existing freight rail lines and serves downtown Austin, East Austin, North Central Austin, Northwest Austin, and Leander in its first phase. Future expansion could include a line to Manor and another to Round Rock. 
The Metrorail system has struggled to build ridership and has faced heavy criticism for its high per rider cost to the public. Capital Metro has also explored building a light rail system to connect the Metrorail line to key destinations in central Austin. On August 7, 2014, the Austin City Council unanimously voted to place a $600 million light rail bond proposal on the November 4, 2014 ballot, the ballot measure was voted down, and no further rail expansions have been put to voters since. Capital Area Rural Transportation System Connects Austin with Outlying Suburbs An Amtrak Texas Eagle Station is located in West Downtown. Segments of the Amtrak route between Austin and San Antonio are under evaluation for a future regional passenger rail corridor as an alternative to the traffic congestion of Interstate 35. This is a multi-jurisdictional project called Lone Star Rail. Austin is also home to CAR2GO, a cars herring program. Austin was chosen as the first city in the Western Hemisphere to host this company's business, which is based in Germany. Austin is known as the most bike-friendly city in Texas, and was ranked the number seven city in the U.S. by Bicycling Magazine in 2016. The city's bike advocacy organization is Bike Austin. Bike Texas a state-level advocacy also has its main office in Austin. Bicycles are a popular transportation choice among students, faculty, and staff at the University of Texas, Austin. According to a survey done at UT, 57% of commuters bike to campus. A 2013 study by WalkScore ranked Austin 35th most walkable of the 50 largest U.S. cities. List of sister cities of Austin, Texas, designated by Sister Cities International. The cities of Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais, Brazil, and Elche, Alicante, Valenquian Community, Spain were formerly sister cities but upon a vote of the Austin City Council in 1991, their status was deactivated. Nation States Territories